The Digitel is not an internet giant. It's a local website for sharing news stories from around the Grand Strand. But the guys who run the Digitel joined big worldwide websites Wednesday in shutting down, while well, some just blacked out their logo, to protest proposed laws they say could put them out of business and penalize innocent people. And even moms that post videos of, you know, their kid dancing to a pop song could could get arrested or jailed for five years. Doman says there are plenty of laws already on the books to protect artists. He says what these bills are really about is big film and music companies trying to limit the internet, like they once tried to stop VCRs or MP3 players. When you have bigger corporate powers that like it the way it's been, um, they hate new and they hate the change and they hate a new way to make money. They like making their money this way. CCU professor Frederick Wood, who has studied the legislation, says most American websites that allow digital file sharing respect intellectual rights and will remove items on request. The laws are mainly aimed at foreign piracy sites. The goal here with, with SOPA and PIPA is to, and since we can't tell the foreign sites what to do, we will get at the internet uh, service providers, companies like Google, which allow you to find these foreign websites. The internet is still a new wide open medium, and Wood says internet law is evolving. As long as we're going to have the internet, we're going to have to figure out a way to regulate it.